What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about taking that shot. And I mean with the camera. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing today? Hope you're doing well. Um, I want to talk about uh, getting that shot on film or SD card these days. Although Picture taken with film cameras has kind of made a resurgence here lately. Uh, people are starting to use the old film cameras to take pictures again, which is kind of cool. I've actually you know where a 35 millimeter is that I may break out to use, and we'll see how it works. Um, anyway, um, so we'll talk about taking that shot or getting that shot that you always want. So. This week, um, we had a hawk that was hanging out at work. And he was going from a tree that was actually in our yard at work and going across the street to one that was in yard at an office across from us. And he was doing hawk things and doing the screeching things and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, while he's around, I want to get a good picture of him. And so... I have a good camera with me all week. I always take it with me. It's in my backpack or my um, short point and shoots always with me too. So I've got the camera with me. I get it out, pull it up. I get where I can get in position and I take my first picture. So I look at it after a little bit you realize it's dark that doesn't that doesn't work I also realize the lighting's not probably the best in the world sun's right above him and or actually it was behind him because it's early morning so I was like well crap that you know that's not the picture I was wanting I wanted to see detail of the bird so the next day it was a cloudy day actually got a little rain and I had the camera with me again I thought oh the light's not as bad behind him. I'll take the picture again and see what happens. Shot the picture again. Same results as the first one. So, that same day though, I, I decided I would film him a little bit, screeching and stuff, and so I filmed that. So then the rest of the week, I went changing different lenses and that kind of thing, trying to get him in the right light. Afternoon times, it never failed. He was across the street, in the tree across the street. And it had been very difficult to get his picture in that tree across the street. You know, all week I'm trying to get pictures of him. They're all coming out the same, coming out dark, coming out, you know, just couldn't see the detail of the bird. So Friday afternoon came along and still hadn't gotten that picture I just really was wanting. And it was late afternoon. It was time to shut the place up, get ready to go home for the weekend. Fourth of July weekend actually. And um, so I was done. You know, I was done with trying to get a picture of him. I'd gotten as best as I could. Got a little bit of video of him screeching and stuff. And then I heard him screech. And I was like, wait, he's over here. So I jumped up, grabbed the camera, looked outside. There he sits in the tree on our side of the street. Late afternoon. It was around 3.34 o'clock area. Time to go home. I mean, I look up there and I can see him. I could see him with the naked eye. I could see his colors with the naked eye. And I was like, this is it. This is the picture I've been waiting for all week. This is the daylight. This is the time I need for him. So I grabbed the camera. I lean up against the building. I focus him in. Click. And if you all know, if you're trying to take pictures of something, you don't just take one, you take two to make sure you got it. I took that second picture. And then he flew off. And he flew off because there was another hawk in the area. 
come flying over. So now I know why he'd been screeching all week. There was another hawk in the area. Whether it's a male or a female, I don't know. If you do any studies about about hawks and their screeches and stuff, it means several different things. When they're hunting, when they're trying to mate, when they're letting other hawks know they're in the area, whatever. The screeches mean something. Well, to me, this told me there was another hawk in the area. Male or female, not sure. He could have been trying to propose. Whatever it was. Uh, pretty sure they weren't hunting. Um, that's another sign that they're hunting. Is the, out of the you know, screech here and another one comes in from this side and does his business and then they share the bounty. So I took that picture. I took my shot. What is it? Hamilton says, I'm not going to waste my shot. And I didn't. Alright guys, that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. Hope you're having a good summer. Fall is coming. I can't wait till fall. I mean, summer's not been very bad here. But it's been warm. And it's been warm out in the west. But uh, if you're wondering, yeah, you're going to get to see that shot. It's going to come up at the end. Alright guys, um, big video coming up in a couple weeks about what all is happening this fall. Plans have been made. Reservations are about to be set. And if y'all would like to come camp at Midtown Outdoors, you're going to have two good opportunities for sure that I will be posting dates on. Alright guys, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Be prepared. And always take your shot.